Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look the Teberon Fighter 11 Plus. Really excited to get this. I think I'm one of the first people to actually get one of these. Construction quality, build quality is awesome. No issues with it yet. Everything works great. Awesome screen on there. Hydraulic brakes, 11 inch tires, dual motors. We are rocking the 72 volt, 30, or 60 volt, I'm sorry, 60 volt, 35 amp hour. They are releasing a 72 volt Supreme version soon, but we went ahead and got the 60 volt version. Uh, I think I've had it up to about 55 miles an hour so far. Uh, really stable. You gotta make sure you tighten up this steering damper. Tighten that up pretty good when you get it. Wasn't as tight as it could have been. So now I'm going to take a ride. Different speed modes here. Five modes. You can go down to economy mode. We're going to go ahead and ride on mode five. Pretty used to the thing, so keep going the whole way. All right, this is a ride on the Teberon Fighter 11 Plus. Suspension is nice and cushy, no issues at all. Going on dirt like that, I mean, uh, pretty easy. Don't have any issues with it, so that's awesome. Adjustable hydraulic suspension for when you do go off road. It's really nice. You can kind of just turn a knob, and it'll tell. And you can get softer, firmer suspension, faster, slow rebound. Zoom hydraulic brakes, really grip. Stops you on a dime. Let's go ahead and go with the wind. We're going to be going with the wind here. Slight downhill grade. We're going to see what we can hit for our top speed on the Teveron Fighter. Alright, here we go. off on these. Uh, any one that I've ever used, it's never that accurate. This thing is amazing though. It 
just goes, no issues. Fantastic little scooter. These bumps on the road feel like nothing because of that adjustable hydraulic suspension being super cushy really easy to regain control when you're coming out of high speed or hitting a bump at high speed uh, I only felt like I didn't have control when I first got it I needed to tune up the steering damper a little bit once we did that though Rides like a dream. Uh, I've done a few range tests on it, and it has a pretty good range. From my estimations, I haven't run it out to a completely dead battery yet. But from my estimation, it uh, seems like you should get about 30 to 40 miles out of a single charge. Just kind of depending on your riding style. I'm usually a pretty aggressive rider. I do like to stay up on the speed. Into your thumb. So you can see you rest on the clamp here and then rock down into your thumb. And using that method I can control the throttle a lot better. I can modulate it very easily so that we can go the speed I'm trying to go. So you can see when we open it up pretty good there. We get some great speed off of it. Let's go head out onto the main road now. I really have no issues going on the main road with it. As it gets up to a good speed. We're fighting the wind. We're still hitting 46. but it's so smooth due to those sine wave controllers I mean it's just blinding acceleration but it doesn't rip you out of your arm sockets you can see we're hitting a very nice 54 right now phenomenal on this. Brakes work really well. We do have turn signals and lights. Uh, this has a full RGB array. All the way down the stem, down the sides of the deck, as well as on the kick plate. Has a lot of customizational options. This is the Teverun Fighter 11 Plus. 
fantastic scooter. I mean, this thing is wild. Absolutely wild. As I was saying earlier during the ride, these RGB lights go along the whole deck and up the whole stem. And then they also go through this entire white back here. You can see we got a disc brake. We do have fully adjustable hydraulic suspension. These guards are kind of a plastic, hard plastic. Uh, they work well. Really hard bumps. I have gotten them to scrape a little bit, so just be careful with that. I like the branding on their motors. It says Teveron Fighter. These are 2,000 watt hub motors. So it's a 2,000 watt hub motor. It's going to be excellent. Alright. Now, what we also have the dual motors on it. Zoom hydraulic disc brakes. These are amazing, work really well. Um, nut may have been a slightly better option, but zoom is still great. Big rotors, stop on a dime, no issues with the rotors. They didn't arrive warped or anything like that. You can see we have another adjustable hydraulic suspension on the front. This is your steering damper. You're gonna make sure when you're coming out of those high speed runs like we just did, you're not getting the death wobble flying all over the place which could definitely be causing some issues. Really wide deck. You see with my foot on the deck, you know, angle my foot. It's it's not the widest deck though, which is nice. I wouldn't want it to be too wide. I feel like it starts to get too big. Uh, this thing already weighs about 90 pounds. So, it's already a pretty big machine. Coming up to the handlebars here. You have these nice grips on the handlebars. Zoom, hydraulic brakes, feel really nice. You do have an NFC card reader, so that you can unlock it via NFC. You can also set a passcode to unlock it. Lights, blinkers, and your horn. Kind of a quiet horn. Over here, we have your control panel, your power, M, plus and minus. Plus and minus are gonna navigate you up and down through the menus. M is gonna be your select button. Hold down power to turn it off, as we'll see here. Turns off. Hold down power to turn it on. Turns on. It's always going to default to mode 1 when you turn it on, so we could take it up to mode 5. We could take it down to mode 1. We can go into economy mode. Economy mode is going to ride like a rental scooter, about 50 miles an hour. Mode 1 needs kick to start. Mode 2 usually goes to 23, mode 3, 35, mode 4, about 42, and 5 just lets it unlock, and that's where we hit our 56 miles an hour. You can also hit the end button. It will give you a different amount of information on the bottom of your screen. Total amount of time rode, as well as uh, your total miles that you rode. Max speed you've hit, you can see there, we did hit a 56.2. We've been averaging about 13 miles an hour on it, so I usually keep it on the other mode for riding. That way you can see the current going to the motors, the temperature, as well as if there's any errors coming up on the motors. Other than that, it does have this nice uh, stem lock right here on the stem. Uh, this is really nice. It basically goes down and it hooks on this. It does not like click into it, uh, so it kind of just sits underneath it. I have carried it a few times. It has not come out of the hook, so it seems to work well for what it does. Uh, but just wish there would have been some kind of way to lock it down upon folding it down. Uh, would have gave me a little more confidence with it for sure, but otherwise, not much I can complain about. That's basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll be sure to be bringing you more videos of the Teverun Fighter, uh, more ride videos. We'll do some off-roading stuff with it. Uh, just a lot of really cool stuff to really check this thing out. Uh, so I can let you all know about what's great about it, what's not great about it, as well as so I can just have more time to ride it. <laughs> you know? It's a blast. I love it. It's so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do appreciate it. I'll have some more coming out soon, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll come back here for more Teveron fighter information. We'll be posting a lot more about this scooter, um, as well as maybe some other projects we're going to be working on on the way. So stay tuned. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Catch you later.